Good morning and welcome to Spotlight. I'm Dan Dunn. Today we continue our conversation with the founder and director of Lamplighter Ministries, Mark Hanby. He's about ready to read a passage from a 200-year-old book entitled Basket of Flowers. So here's this father, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, the sun is rising, and he's teaching his daughter out of the Bible, and he says to this child, as he's looking at the flowers of his garden, he says, see in these lilies, my child, the symbol of innocence, its leaves are of whiteness, which outvies that of the richest satin and equals that of the driven snow. Happy is the daughter whose heart is also pure, for it's the pure in heart who shall see God. Mm. But the more pure the color, my child, the more difficult it is to preserve it in all its purity. Mm. The slightest taint can spoil the flower of the lily, and it must be touched, even with the greatest precaution, lest it retain the blemish. Thus also one word, one thought, could rob the mind of its purity. At that moment, the guards burst into the garden unknowingly, and they took Mary, they threw her to the ground, and began to beat her with whips unmercifully. You see, the day before, when Mary brought the roses to the queen, the queen set her aside because she had a gift for her, set her in this room to wait, and the queen took off her ring, her diamond ring, set it on a table, came back, gave the gift to Mary, Mary left the castle, the queen turned, and her ring was gone, and the only one in the room at the time was Mary. The judge questions her severely. She, the judge tells her that the pen, penalty for stealing from royalty is death, but if she doesn't admit to stealing the ring, which she's not confessed, she says, I did not steal it. I wouldn't even take an apple from someone's orchard, let alone the, the beautiful ring that the queen that I love. And the judge says, if you do not confess, Mary, then we will hang your father, for he must be complicit in this wow. before your eyes, and then we'll hang you. And her father looked at her and said, Mary, it is better to die for the truth than to live for a lie, for the worst pillow to sleep on is the pillow of a guilty conscience. Dan, when I read that, God did something in my heart. And as I started telling that story that I just told you and your listeners, 200 people in the audience wanted that book. And I said to my wife, I said, I don't know what to do. And we went and took a step in faith, and we printed the book. And that year, we sold 2,000 of those books in wow. everywhere. Wow. People started sending me books from their great, great, great <laughs> grandparents from uh-huh. the 16, 1700s. Yeah. And now we've got 200 books in print. And uh, God has just greatly blessed us because the Word of God is so so richly embedded in each of these amazing stories. The idea that God just gave you that desire to want to share uh, what you were reading. It's a its a wonderful uh, testimony to the grace of God working in your life. And that, mm-hmm. and that really gave birth to Lamplighter Ministries. And, and, and then, yes, because I was a speaker. I was speaking at conferences, and I tell people about these biographies. Now, all of a sudden, God started giving us our own books. And so we started publishing our own books, and we got 200 of them. And then in 2009, I was at Focus on the Family. I was at a, a strategic planning meeting. God, they invited me to speak there, mm-hmm. and my wife and I was there, and it was the same day that Dr. Dobson resigned, and 200 people got laid off. And this one man from Adventures and Odyssey looked at me, and he said, have you ever considered putting your books in audio drama? And I said, eat, sleep, drink, and breathe the idea. And that afternoon, we met with John Fornoff, Marshall Younger. We started meeting with the people that, were, that, had, that had created Odyssey, and that day, Lamplighter Theater was born, and seven years later, it's now heard in 31 countries on 2,000 radio stations. What a miracle. We are blessed to be able to bring uh, folks that program along with your uh, Lamplighter moment. We'll continue our conversation with Mark Hamby next week on Spotlight. I'm Dan Dunn. You've been listening to Spotlight, a public affairs program of the Mars Hill Network. Opinions expressed are not necessarily those of the Mars Hill Network staff, management, or board of directors. Inquiries and suggestions are welcome. Email spotlight at marshillnetwork.org or mail to Spotlight in care of the Mars Hill Network, 4044 Mackays Road. That's M-A-K-Y-E-S Road, Syracuse, New York, 13215.